Go back to that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. We had to go into slavery because we as the God's chosen people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are God's chosen people. You just go by the name black. You go by the name Hispanic, and you go by the name Native Indian because that's the name that was given to you in slavery. But you got to remember who you are in these last days. When is the Sabbath day? When is the Sabbath day, brother? When is the Sabbath day? You say Sunday? He says Sunday. That's your final answer? Saturday. Okay, he says Saturday. What you say? You gonna say Sunday. What you gonna say? Saturday. You say Saturday. <laughs> Saturday is the Sabbath day. Yeah. But here in America, all these years, we've learned that Sunday is the Sabbath day. That's right. That ain't what's written in the Bible. Right. When you open up your phone and you go to your calendar, it says the first day of the week is Sunday. Right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the seventh day. Give me that in Exodus real quick. I'm going to show you how far we have fallen as a people. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. Why God had to tell us to remember the Sabbath day? Why do you think he had to tell us to remember the Sabbath day? I'm going to help you out. Because we will forget it. How would we forget it? We will forget it when these things happen to us. They beat the hell out of your forefathers and made you change your name. What's your last name? What? Brooks. Brooks. What's your last name? George. George. What's your last name? What? Is Federson. Why do we all have these different last names? Because we all come from different plantations. That's right. Our foremothers and forefathers were born on these different plantations here in America. And we've taken on the last names of our captives. Right. Now we don't have the God-given names that was given to us. Right. That's why you don't know that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. They don't teach that in these churches that they built. That's why our brothers don't know that they're from the tribe of Benjamin, right. Levi, and so on and so forth. We have forgotten our own nationality. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Hold that. We have forgotten our nationality. But all of this was prophesied that it would happen to us. Now, here in 2023, in Columbia, South Carolina, we got to remember that we are the Israelites. Yes, we got to come out of the ways of America. Right. Change our names back to our God-given names. Give them their last names back. Stop celebrating their holidays, such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Pagan, pagan holidays. Right. All of these days are pagan. Even your own birthdays. Right. That is against God. Right. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. God said, Jeremiah, thou, even yourself, you're going to discontinue from your heritage. This was in during Jeremiah's time. He says, you're going to discontinue from your heritage. Come on. That. I gave thee. He gave us a heritage. What is the heritage that God gave us? Give it out in Sirach 17, right? 11. Sirach 17, 11. Sirach 17 and 11. What is the heritage that God gave us? Remember, who are we talking about? We're talking about the Israelites. That's right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We are one people. We are the same people with the same bloodline. Right. They blood is the same blood as our, we are the same father. Read. The book of Sirach. Chapter 17, verse 11. Besides, thus he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. He gave us knowledge and the law of life for heritage. That's your heritage, bro. It's your heritage to be a ruler. It's your heritage to sit above all these nations on the earth. Right. That's your, you inherited that. God gave you that. You're the chosen people. Right. Now, you got to say, okay, if he chose me, why am I on the damn bottom? Why am I at the bus station catching buses? I should own the bus line. Right, right. I should own the businesses. Right. But because we broke God's commandments, he says, no. I'm going to show you what happened. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's show you what happened and why we're in this condition and how to get out of this condition. Start at verse 46. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Verse 46. Bring it up. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. God says the curses that I'm about to put you through, the curses that I'm about to put the nation of Israel through, they're going to be upon you for a sign. And for a wonder.
wonder. And it's going to be upon you for a wonder because you look out into society and you wonder why is it only black people getting shot down in the street? Why is it only black people that, are, that have the highest uh, uh, rate when it comes to AIDS and these different diseases on the earth? Why are these things, atrocities, only happening to black people like at this rate? Why? Because this is the sign that God has given you. Read. And upon thee, upon thy seed forever. God says it's going to appear upon you and your children forever. Come on. Because thou serve not the Lord thy God. Because we didn't want to serve God. Because we did not want to serve God, he put us in captivity. He put us in slavery. And everything that has transpired after that is a condition from us breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments of God. That's right. Read. With joyfulness and with gladness of heart. He said, you don't want to serve me with joyfulness and gladness of heart? Slavery for you. Read. For the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. God says, okay, I gave you the earth before. I gave you everything as an inheritance. But you didn't want it. Now, therefore, what? Which? The, what? Read it again. Uh, therefore. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. You know? We wonder why we on the bottom. God says, because y'all broke the commandments, brothers. Now, you're going to, because you don't want to serve me, which is keeping the commandments, you're going to serve your enemies. You are now going to serve your enemies. Now, let's see what he says about these enemies. Come on. Which? The Lord shall sin against thee. He said, I'm going to send these enemies against you. This is how we sent them. He sent our enemies against us, and this is what they did. Huh? Read. Sin against thee and hunger. When you were hungry, when you were hungry, you got to go to your enemy. Walmart, Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly, all these different stores. Come on. And in thirst. When you're thirsty, you're going to go to your enemy. Come on. And in nakedness. When you want clothes, you're going to go to your enemy because we didn't want to serve our one true God. Right. Come on. And in want of all things. In want of everything, you're going to go to your enemy. Now, I want to show you something, brother. Take a look at this right here. Come around here, right here. This is the key part. Read. But, nope. I mean, and he shall it put. It says, and he, and he, he shall do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He says, this enemy that you're going to serve, he's going to put a, put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Now, who put the yoke? Who is, did this happen to your people? Is this your people? Yeah. yeah. So who put the yoke of iron on your neck? Who did this to your people? Huh? The so-called white man did this to your people. Yeah. God, we call him the white man. God says what? Read it from the top. And he? No. Read it, uh, the enemy part. Read that again. Therefore, Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. See, we call him the white man. God called him what? Read it again. Enemies. Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. God says that the people that did this to you are your enemies. Would a friend do this to his friends? So why today in 2023 in America, we think everybody's equal. We all won. Do you want equality, brother? Do you want equality? All day. All day. But whatever, you want equality? Yes, sir. How the hell do you want equality when God gave you everything? That's right. Everything belongs to you. You want to share it with somebody else? God gave you the world. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen good. God gave you the world. Give me that in Deuteronomy 76. God gave you the world. You want to share it? He gave it to us as a nation of people. You want to share it with other people? Do you want to share what God gave you with other nations of people? No, hell no, you don't want to share it. Why in the hell would you want equality? You should not want equality. You should want some damn rulership from right. this earth. You should want to take back what belongs to you. Right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says you are holy people unto him. You're holy unto God, you black people. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh, he chose you to be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above. What? Above. No, equal to. Above. Oh. God says that you're supposed to be above, not equal to. All people. All people. You're supposed to be above, not equal to. All people. 
above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? God says you're above all people on the face of the earth. Why would you want equality, bro? You shouldn't want equality. You should now say, okay, how do I get that back? What is it going to take for me to get that back? Do you want the answer to that? Yeah. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. I'm going to give it to you the long way. Because that's the main thing that's going to put us back into rulership on this earth. Right. We don't want no equality. We want our earth back. Right. And we're going to take it back. Right. By all means necessary, according to the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Right. Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. For that, that, for that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. What did Christ say? Repent. That's what you got to do, brother. Now we got to repent. We got to change our ways. We have to come out of the ways of this world and change our thinking. God says, do what? Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You got to repent and change your ways. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 